How to put checkmate on the board with a knight and a bishop? Think you can do it? Come on, let's learn it together! Hello everyone and welcome back! So today we will learn together how to win with bishop and a knight together against this weak king. So this game was played far away I think like two or three years ago against international master Yuri Gizmer from Israel and this game was a blitz game. The time control was 3 plus 2 seconds increment per each move so in this position I had really a little bit like 10 or maybe 5 seconds on the clock so 93 moves into the game and yeah it was a very tough game so let's learn some very important issues about this position first of all you must give a checkmate on the board until we got 50 moves from now this is the first principle you must know the second one is if we want to win this king from f6 must go or to a8 or to h1 okay why because we have this white color bishop and if this king will go to h8 or a1 right we will never be able to give him checkmate okay so let's see and let's understand how every move we are come closer to our conclusion and our you know like the uh, the things that we must um take from this position so i played a move he played the move king g7 i played bishop f5 you can see that every move that i'm playing i really want um to uh, minimize his uh, moves with the king okay so king f7 now king e5 i'm going forward king e7 now knight h5 another very very uh, important move king d8 you can see that already his king coming to the uh, eight file eight uh, row of course knight f6 King e7, only move, right? King e7 or king c7, he's going to e7, knight d5 check, king f6, king f king f8, sorry, king f6. And now as you can see, the king is really trapped here, right? So we must bring this king to a8. How can we do it? So king e8, bishop e6 was played by me, king f8, and now king g6. Okay, so I was in, in time trouble, a little bit mistakes, of course. Now I play the move bishop to f5. King g8 and now knight e7 check. King h8 and now knight g6 check. The point is that after king g8, bishop e6 check, king h7 and now this is the position that you must know. I play the move bishop d5. Of course the only move for black is to play king h6 and now we are, um, you know, like taking our plan and just providing it in this position. So we're playing the move bishop to h7. And the point is that we just uh, reduce his move from h7, he must go to h5, and now we are playing the move knight to e5. The point here is that if he is going to h4, we will play the move king f5, king g3, and now we will play the move knight to g4. The point is that after king f3, he wants to go here and, you know, like to escape, we will play the move bishop to c4 and this position is just really lost because after king g3 we will play the move bishop to e2 king g2 king f4 king a3 just knight to e5 and after this one we will go check here i don't know king f3 makes sense king h2 king f no i, I think knight f4 also king g1 king g3 king h1 and the checkmate very very soon because bishop c4 king g1 knight h3 check and bishop d5 checkmate on the board so this is the first uh, principle that you must understand that after knight e5 if he's going to h4 in this particular position you will go king f5 and after king g3 he wants to escape right but no knight g4 and after king f3 bishop c4 and that's it he's in this zone right in this square and that's it the game is just over because every move here you just minimize his uh, ability to move and the checkmate will come very soon so after knight e5 another option is to play king h6 
He, he's, he's telling you, you know what, I'm, I will be here. You will not giving me checkmate, but hey, we will succeed to do it. Knight to g4 check, king h5, now king f5. As you can see, another, you know, uh, only move for, for black, king h4, king f4. Now king h5 going back, wants to go to g6, but no, bishop f7 check, king h4. Now just bishop g6 I played, king h3, knight e3. Of course, also knight e5 was good. But knight e3, you know, in the time trouble, it's also fine. King here, checking on g2, king h3, king f3. As you can see, another time he's going only a, a, on h2. And our plan is very, very, you know, um, close to, to winning because we must this king to come here. So he's going for it. King to h2, now king f2, king h3, bishop h3, f5, sorry, check. King h2, and now bishop e6, I played, king h1, knight h4. King h2, bishop f5, king h1. As you can see, black just wait to, to, to bring the checkmate on the board. Bishop h3 I played, king h2, bishop f1. And now check and mate. So this another uh, very, very interesting and option to give checkmate for this king. So in this video, you just learn how to give this checkmate uh, with the knight and a bishop and don't forget the very important thing you must understand and remember if we have the white color bishop we must bring this king to h1 or a8 okay so all all we are doing is minimize his uh, moves ability to go to the center of the board and we just push him to the one of these squares okay so if you like this video and if you learn how to win with bishop and a knight just tell me in the comments and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe my channel and i really want to tell you one thing i managed to win it with time travel can you imagine it like five seconds three seconds on the clock it's very difficult and maybe you can do it also in your next game see you soon bye bye